But this is sports direct and fail John Quarter. Just before we wrap up, let's do some local story. First, we'll make a stop at Medina in suburb of Accra. Medina Super Cardinals was relaunched over the weekend, and the management has appealed for sponsorship to transfer and ensure that they contribute better towards the development of football here in Ghana. Let's get a story. Medina Super Cardinals Football Academy has been in existence since the mid 80s and produced some fine football talent for the country and contributed tremendously towards the development of the game. In a move to enhance the image of the football club and further promote their activities, the Medina based team has rejuvenated with a dynamic and vibrant management and playing body of new young footballers. The club has organized a special tournament at the Medina Aviation Park last Sunday where many talented players were discovered and showcased. Again, players ranging from 10 to 17 years were treated to a get-together at the High Table Restaurant at Medina where a fundraising event and a talent night was held. Speaking later to a section of the media, Frank Mauli Soglo, chairman of the academy, said they want to give kids and young players in the community the chance to exhibit their talents and not go wayward. He stressed that they have short and long-term plans for the kids as they want to combine education and football, while those who shine can get the opportunity to play outside Ghana. He expressed that other creative skills would be taught to the kids so that those who do not go far with the game of football can benefit from other vocations. Growing up, I had friends who had played football, but at the end of the day, could not actually make it. And I s met them, you know, becoming, a, excuse me to say, uh, not that good in the community. So we realized that the best way to go about is to blend football with education to these young ones, so that in case football doesn't become the order of the day or doesn't happen to be what they want, they can also fall on something. So as we speak, we are also engaging them in STEM program, that which every Thursday they go for that course as well too. We are also looking forward to introduce them to other courses as well too, like musical courses and other, you know, innate abilities that we can groom them to, you know, to bring it out of them. So that's what we are actually looking at. Richard Eloma Sante is PRO of the Cardinals Academy and noted that they have identified many talented players and want to groom them for the nation. He called for support for individuals and companies as managing and club administration is a huge financial burden. So we are young ones trying to recover a team that have been there before our century. And you know, sometimes when it comes to football, you can't do it alone. You need investors, you need hands to support you. So our aim is to get hands and sponsors to support us to put the players the young ones out there because football in Ghana right now I think we have to concentrate on the grassroots that being the young guys so why won't we come in and support the young ones put professionalism to their football so that when they get there the coaches or the managers don't struggle of training training them on those stuff so we we need we need support it's not easy because when we want to play a match one leg we spend about more than 7,000 to 10,000 being transportation, paying the players, food and all those stuff. Sometimes we go in to rent a park, AstroTurf Park, to play football. So the expenses is too much on us. The headache is, the, the weight is so heavy on us. So we need support.